Realtor Magazine gave salesperson Mark Jack of Chicago $250 in two hours to stage a bedroom. He came in $8 over budget, but didn't use all the accessories he'd bought. When I first came in the room, my impression was that it was very bright. There are a lot of colors in here. Um, also that it's a very large room. It's 19 by 10, so it's a lot of space to work with. I think buyers would be turned off possibly by the paint color. It's a very bright color. It's a personal color. So I think it's important to kind of tone down that color in this room so when buyers come in, they're not focused on that. Okay, I think that's it. I was initially trying to draw the buyer's attention away from the fact that the room is very yellow. So by using some patterns, the buyer who walks in this room can kind of get a sense that there's other things happening in this room besides the paint color. Looking at where I could get the most bang for the buck. So by looking at flat planes of color, the carpet for as example is $30, mm -hmm. um, but it really adds to the room. The, the draperies were only $20, however they add a lot of impact to the room and same with the new bedspread and bedding. One of the things that I teach when you're staging a house is a really bright background. You neutralize the accessories to downplay that bright background and um, you do just the opposite for a neutral background, so I think by bringing in the curtains, they're really cute, they play up the windows and they downplay the paint color as opposed to the curtains that were in here before were really brightly colored. You really missed the hardwood floors, you missed how spacious this was. He did a phenomenal job. It's a large space and what I wanted to do was divide the space up and let it flow. So I put the bed in one area of the room and then had the dressing area move to the other side so it's two defined spaces in a large room. My first impression when I saw this room was there's no flow, it's not very big. The room was blocked a little bit by the bed being right in the middle here and it didn't feel as large as it actually is. When Mark staged this room, you know, he obviously rearranged the furniture, creating a much better flow, it made the room look twice as large. That alone demonstrates why staging is needed. I pretty much stage all my listings. Um, I think it's important um, not only to have the room show well when a buyer comes to see the room, but more importantly when they view the room online nowadays with photos and virtual tours, that it's something that they want to come and see.